Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another round of Knock Off Blocks. Uh, today I have for you four in one, all from the same old brand of Lili, which is a Chinese knockoff brand of Lego, uh, and features this symbol above the brand, uh, which is actually uh, the symbol for will, which is not will power, but more or less uh, basically putting things together. You know, you will do this. Uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, moniker there, but you know, uh, the Chinese do the Chinese things, you know. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at these things. Uh, they're basically these knockoffs uh, of the popular Lego brands of Ninjago and uh, Minecraft. So let's uh, just get right on into it. All right, coming all the way from China is Lili Li and their unique original brand called Ninja. Uh, this one is the blue ninja on a blue bicycle, and he seems to be throwing something uh, uh, rather pointy at somebody who he doesn't really care for. Uh, but I, I, I dare to say he might just end up running over that and uh, cause himself a lot more harm. Uh, this is set 31147, uh, and it's, this is the brand new series. Uh, I love that PowerPoint font there. That's beautiful. Um, but yeah, so the really the beautiful part of this whole set is the box itself. So if you ever get a Lili set, uh, just buy the box and just throw away the set uh, itself. The, the plastic is pretty much pointless. Uh, the box is where the fun's at because in addition to... Uh, uh, to the number being the way it is, I, I'm a little bit of a spoiler here. Uh, this is the next one that I'll be showing off. It is also number 31147, so that's quite something. Um, <clears throat> but we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, looking on to the side here, rather on the back here, he did this really nice portrait of, uh, of all of the different characters you could possibly get in this brand series. All presumably knockoffs of, uh, you know, Ninjago characters. But they're all riding motorcycles, or rather bicycles here. Um, so, you know, obviously uh, it's in, it's an intellectual property all to its own. I, wish I, I really wish I could read that. If, if anyone out there knows what that says, please help me out. Um, maybe this will be a little bit more fun um, to to translate. Uh, but you can see there the, the ninja, they just got rid of the go at the end. They still say as masters of spinjitsu, which is still a Lego thing. So cheers to them for trying something like that. Uh, and also, I love the inclusion at the very bottom here. Cool. Indeed, cool. The whole thing is very cool. So let's see. <clears throat> Set this up here. And let's take a look at the little blue little blue uh, ninja that could. Um, so this is obviously Jay from the Ninjago series. Um, and like I said, he's uh, got something very pointy here. And this has got uh, some nice little rubber plasticky bits here. And really the chain for a knockoff is really quite good. I enjoy it. It seems, oh, except for that part. Um, let's get him off there. But the best part about this set actually is the bicycle because unlike the Lego bicycles, these have rotatable handlebars, which is really a rad thing. So uh, who knows, uh, that may be uh, just a way to get past the, uh, the, the copyrights or the whatever, uh, because that, you know, it's almost verbatim the Lego bicycle, just for that one little thing. Uh, but it's really neat in, uh, a neat addition. Um, yeah, so uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, as I pointed out previously, this is basically the uh, same thing as before. Uh, same uh, set number here. Uh, same premise, but a ninja on a bicycle doing something uh, terribly uh, irrelevant. Uh, even the same uh, PowerPoint font there going on. And uh, as always, I love the back graphic there. It is so cool. But yeah, looking at the actual figure, we can see that uh, it's Zane. Uh, Zane on a bike. I'm sure that won't be a meme somewhere. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's, uh, I know that because I'm totally a uh, devoted Ninjago fan and have devoted uh, years of my life to learning each of the characters' names, uh, backstories, and uh, I totally didn't look at the Wikipedia page mere moments before recording. Yeah, so anyway, uh, looking at the figures themselves, I really didn't get to that with the J character. Uh, the figures themselves are a little loose, um, but that's fine. You know, it just kind of uh, a little bit of a cheap plastic going on. But kind of good printing. Um, that's really something to be admired. Um, just the fact that they got all those different layers going on. Still a little bit on the cheapo side. I can see a little bit of a, a rough pattern around here and there. 
But something to be commended for is the fact that the pauldrons, arrows, little cowl, and little hat here are all separate pieces, which uh, I'm sure that's some way to get past the Lego copyrights or, uh, you know, whatever is going on in, uh, going on in China uh, legal territory right now with uh, Lego fat, uh, toys. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure that's really uh, some way to get past that, but it comes across as kind of a neat... Uh, I don't know, a neat way to arm your character. You can uh, take off the arrows if you need to, or uh, swap them around, or uh, just take off the cowl because that really looks kind of dumb. Uh, but yeah, so that aside, um, this is not the only uh, side set brand that uh, Lily managed to uh, withhold from Lego. Uh, in addition to Ninja brand, we have Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, the, the very popular brand, uh, Minecraft, comes to you from Lili. Set 79018. I'm sure that number won't be repeated in the future. But we see we have a little pumpkin man here and this very interesting text. Cool styling, changing colors, joining us together in the exciting world tiling. Let your imagination without limits. Indeed. So, uh, let's take a look at the other characters here. We get uh, oh, some sort of disembodied uh, captive demon head there. Uh, a pig next to a, a skeleton that's just jamming on a... Oh, is that a guitar? That's awesome. Uh, there's Pumpkin Man, which I have. Uh, there's some sort of creeper dude here. Uh, the usual, you know, pig, sheep, mushroom, skeleton, cobweb, zombie dude, barbecue. Oh, and there's Steve. Cool. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get that off to the side and take a look at the other one, because I'll just bring both of them at the same time. Here's the Creeper Dude, and, oh, that's a totally different number, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, yes, I love, I love that, that phrase there. Yeah, that's quite amazing there. Same graphic on the back, as usual. Uh, and looking at the characters, we can see that they're basically what you get on the box. Oh, swap them around. There we go, guys, good on you. Uh, I really like the uh, just the square heads that are going on, and the fact that neither are actual characters from Minecraft, as far as I know. This is just a pumpkin on some guy's head. Oh, um, nice! No, uh, no indication that it's actual a pumpkin. It's just a weird guy with a orange head. That's cool. Uh, and this is actually just a creeper head on a normal person's body. Uh, just white legs, totally blank. Um, that's really bland. Um, he couldn't have given them black pants or anything, guys. Um, good job on the bows and arrow, uh, bows and arrows and the pickaxes. Those look fairly similar to the Lego equivalents. Uh, so I, I, I tip my hat off to you in that regard. Uh, but overall figures are kind of lacking. Um, that uh, that's kind of to be expected, though, from a knockoff brand like Lili. I've kind of really wanted to get my hands on Lili brand uh, for quite a while now since they're kind of an infamous brand uh, in China. And uh, as far as I know, uh, Lego is starting to stamp out uh, various competition like uh, Lepin and Simbo and some of the other guys. I forget. Or maybe Lepin became Simbo. I forget. Uh, they change their names so often it's really hard to figure out uh, if I'm actually reviewing brand new figures or old ones again. Ugh. Oh, the life of a reviewer. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to see more of my random reviews of uh, Lego knockoffs as well as actual Legos, uh, please stay, uh, stay tuned. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!